sharkies in the water. Can, God, I'm just cleaning my teeth and it's out here, down beneath us. <laughs> After breakfast, Col and I went out to see his dive team at work. It wasn't long before the team found coral scars, the telltale sign there were crown of thorns nearby. The starfish typically feed at night during the day, they're often hidden away. Really bizarre. There were, uh, ooh, there were almost a dozen of them. These bolty armed feeding machines. I'm gonna go back down and see how they deal with them. As with the cane toads I saw earlier on my trip, and other feral and invasive creatures that are damaging the environment in Australia. The crown of thorns are just doing what comes naturally to them. But human actions have seen their numbers explode, and so conservationists have decided the only way of protecting the Great Barrier Reef is to cull the crown of thorns. Originally, researchers tried cutting the starfish in half, but remarkably, each part survived, doubling the numbers. Injecting them with chemicals is a slow, laborious process, and Cole's team are only protecting the parts of the reef most visited by tourists. The cynic in me wonders, I suppose, if tourists weren't coming to these parts of the reef, whether there would be the, the incentive and the pressure for you to proactively try and protect them. High value tourism and high, uh, high tourism numbers give us the financial clout to be able to invest in protecting the reef. It's ironic really, isn't it? Everybody said, oh, you know, tourism will be the death of places. Here, it's actually contributing to the salvation of it. Without tourism, we'd be no financial incentive to do a damn thing. With all the different threats there are to coral reef around the world, what's your take on, on what the future is for the Great Barrier Reef? If we don't get control of it reef-wide in the very near future, we're going to lose an enormous amount of biodiversity. Where we have a couple of hundred species of coral, we could end up like the Caribbean or the Bahamas or, uh, or off Florida, where you can count the number of species in two hands. So see it while you can. If people want to see the Barrier Reef in pristine condition, they need to be out here right now and seeing it over the next five years. The future of the Barrier Reef is going to be different to what we see right now.